Welcome to part two of today's video. Um, me and Em are now off on a road trip. I'm just not in the car. We're going in the Scania. It's a lorry trip today, but um, I've got my charger in here and you need these sort of things because I know I'm going to have to look at the GPS. Uh, GPS, not GPS. It doesn't steer itself. Um, you know what I mean? The, um... oh, sat nav. Sat nav, that's what I mean. Sat nav. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. We're going to talk about M and what she's, how she got into farming, um, what she loves about farming. Uh, we'll see the little things that we see on the way. Should, so it should be fun. Stay tuned. Press like and subscribe if you like our videos. Thank you. <laughs> just shutting the door down now. I'll just get my phone mount out of this tractor and then we should be ready. Just done my little check around the lorry um, and just turned it on now. And yeah. She just needs to fill up the air tank, so that's what the bing bong is. But just for a few revs and a bit of time, we'll be ready. Ready? <laughs> we are, before we start, trying to set up some camera angles so that this works, isn't it, Em? Yes. Luckily, with the wide camera angle of the iPhone, we can pop it in there and it does seem to get both of us. So um, apologies, everyone, if it doesn't work to perfection. Is that recording? Yeah. Ah! Business! Well, it's also got a right angle on it. Has it? Has it got us both? Yeah. It's got this seat anyway. Oh, that's alright. So yeah, we're off! Well, we are if I don't crash into the, the eye locks. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That concrete panel at that side. I think we'll go there. See, car drivers here. Car drivers here. So, um, yes. tell us how you got into farming. I saw your message on Facebook. <laughs> she did before before TikTok or um, YouTube or anything like that. Uh, M sent us a message on Facebook. I don't even know this farm existed. I don't even know where it was. I'm not gonna lie. She's not. She don't live a million miles away, but like I yeah, know it existed. It was um, we're hidden away a little bit from the road. Yeah. And uh, it's not a road you come down, is it? No, not really. Not from where I live, anyway. No, not to get to places that you can go up to, I suppose. Usually. No, I do. It's from the middle of the road. And, um, so... What made you want to be a farmer? I don't know. I get asked this daily. I think that's like... You don't have to have an answer for it, either, really. Yeah, I genuinely don't. Like, I don't know a lot of things. You know, people ask me questions and I'm like, huh? I've probably sat and thought about it for like days on it, but you might get an answer. Yeah. It's not something I think of. On a daily basis. I just like my job up here. <laughs> so like what was so when you decided you wanted to be a farmer? Right. Um did you find it easy to get into industry? Well no big ball. I think you're the only once I got a job with you, I got offered loads of jobs. Yeah. Well, that's because everybody knew that I was working for you, you see. You've got, you've got a little bit of experience already. Well, no, we just went the farm about like, oh, she's working for that, that place, and then we're like, oh, they want a job with me. <laughs> Not really, I've got a job for you. So it's like, it, it can be a challenge for young people wanting to get into farming because it's like... You haven't got the experience. And then they're putting a lot of like trust in you, to be fair. There's a lot of like, one, things, to go things that could go wrong. You've got expensive machinery, you've got animals that are like either dangerous or if you do the wrong thing, you could make a, a lot of all the animals or whatever. So, yeah, a lot of people look for experience, but. Yeah, but then you need time as well. What time? Oh yeah, 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 so it is, yeah, yeah, you need time, so if you are taking on an apprentice, you need to set aside time to be able to say, well, I'm not going to be able to do this straight away, so we're going to have to gradually work in doing this, and I don't know, but... You will have been attached to service to have a field. Yeah, hopefully though then, that's, uh, yeah, hopefully. hopefully that's going to be a uh, thing of the past. <laughs> Eventually. But well, no, like, I don't know. 
when he first came, though, you went straight onto tracks, were you? I think that's maybe like. Yeah, but I've never drove it until I come to you. No, we have told you all the bad habits of driving. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think that's what some some pe some young people want to job in farming because they want to come straight onto the farm and have a little play on the tractor and it do not always work like that. like that does it, it like well if you would have probably come to us and said i just fancy being a farmer all right what have you done em uh, i've been to school and um, you know like i'd probably it'd be like uh, uh, all right you know like it doesn't but because em when she um came to work for us which we Speed limited area, here, so I'm just checking my speed. Oh, we're doing fine. Um, because, <laughs> because, um, because when M came to us, she'd already worked at two places at such a young age as well. So what, tell them what you did, Em. Uh, no, by me telling them. No. So I set off cleaning cars for a very long time. <laughs> Every morning, Saturday morning, I'd clean like 50 cars. Then I started working with horses, put my own horses. Horses are horses to, to, to normal yeah, people. Yeah, horses. Like yeah, horses. the things that go, no, donkeys. <laughs> and um, then, well that, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't mind it. Yeah, you enjoyed that more than cleaning cars, didn't you? Oh yeah, quite like it. <laughs> quite that's it. I wanted to be a farm. I wanted to be a farm. I like cows. I like cows more than tractors, but it's about cows. <laughs> I think for cows. Well, I went went from an employer's point of view. Like when I've seen that. So when I'm thinking about taking on an apprentice, the first jobs I'm thinking is they're going to clean tractors. Oh, I did a lot of that. Did a lot of that, didn't you? Like cleaning machinery and cleaning tractors because it's. <laughs> Still does. Still, do, still does. Still does. I quite like it. So it's like it's an easy job that you can set somebody on with. You can't go wrong. Well, you, yeah, you won't believe it. People can't get it wrong. But like, yeah, <laughs> they seemingly can't get it wrong. So when M's like, oh yeah, I've been balloting cars. It's like, oh, fantastic. <laughs> like she can clean a tractor. She can clean a tractor. I know that. I know she can do one of first jobs. Um, but like cleaning a tractor might seem a bit mundane to most people, but it's like you're in that cab, you're cleaning these buttons, and you're looking at them and blah blah blah. So then like when I'm trying to say, oh M, um, um, just turn PTO on for me, I'll just turn PTO off for me. And you're like, well what's that? Like yellow button. You know that yellow button on right hand? You know, like it's you've been in there however many times cleaning it, you ought to know which one the yellow button is. So it's just So yeah, so basically, if you want a job in farming, like, don't, don't let your dreams be destroyed by a lot of farms turning you down. A lot of farms will say no, I feel like. Even if you've like no experience, I feel like my age, they don't want to know you. Yeah. You're young, you're an idiot. Yeah. Like that sort of stuff. That sort of stuff. So, just go and ask the farms, definitely. Go and ask your local oh, farms. Oh, Lord. Um, but then, don't be disheartened if you uh, need to get a job that's not necessarily farm related. As long as you've got a job, that's like the way forward. The way forward, yeah. People haven't got a job and never had a job and then want to decide to become a farmer, it's going to be very difficult for you. Um, get used to it. Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, so yeah, so M's well, I don't know. You've been lucky or unlucky, however you want to see it. I think quite lucky. You are, but you've worked, you've worked hard to get to. You've worked hard to be lucky. You know, by you made your own luck. Yeah, it's a You know what I mean? So right. Anyway, I think we'll um, we'll see a bit of what what's on our travels now. Yes. Can you pause it? Em? Yeah, I just did my um, seatbelt. So we just passed Shuffle Guy. Yeah, 
There's a guy down there with a nice Citroen D3 or something. With his, with his, with his pink shuffle on. No, not pink, it was no, blue. It was, blue. It was blue. quite a nice floor to be fair. You've got a shuffle then? No. Have you? No. No, I've no, not. They're a bit overpriced. They're a little bit expensive, aren't they? Yes, just. For, for a fleece. <laughs> yeah. I've thought that before. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like my nice Rydale one. You've got a Rydale one, have you? It's identical to a shuffle. Is it Rydale a girl's one, or is that a boy? Do you get boys' Rydales? Do you get boys' Rydales? Yeah. Oh. Identical to shuffles. Alright. <laughs> yeah, no. Not even funny. half the price. I think I should get a shuffle and then like embroider your seals on the top of it. A shuffle or a knockoff shuffle? Well, I suppose. I, 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 I you know, I'd just destroy a shuffle really. I would. I do. I have. <laughs> just destroy it. Uh oh, roadworks. Oh no, it's not. It's 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 does he know who we are? That's our friend. <laughs> uh, right, so we're going to get on the M18, M1, we're going right down into... Derbyshire. Lancaster. Lancaster. No, uh, it's not Shropshire, is it? It's no. like Lancaster, is it? No, Lancaster's north, isn't it? Leek. Oh. It's Leek where we're going to. Like Derbyshire. No, that's no. like Sheffield way, isn't it? Is it Shropshire? Shropshire down south. We'll tell you later. It begins with an S. We'll, we'll Google it in a second. Staffordshire, Staffordshire, that's what Stafford, I, Staffordshire. Staffordshire, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, I always call it Shropshire. I know we're so much Shropshire. John Seals on top. On it! There's the local trucking car. The stockyard. There's good food in there. We've never, I've never been. We to it, it's, quite, it's quite nice, but we went in and we were a bit dodgy because it was like right air and it's like there were nobody in but loads of wagons. We didn't go at like 8 o'clock at night, but it was like... A bit dodgy. Yeah. A bit dodgy. Don't get me wrong, food was very nice. It was all lit in it, but it was just because there were nobody there but it shit loads of wagons. <laughs> we had pie. I've never seen that before. That car's got a wheelchair. Is it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We haven't seen no really interesting good pastas yet, have we? I thought we'd see like uh, some Ferraris good pastas or something like that, but we've got Suzuki Duke and Suzuki Swifts. <laughs> I'm going to say Suzuki Duke. That's Joe's dream car. It is. Suzuki Duke here, we're back cut off. Nice. I wanted to make one at one point, but. I think it's one of them where... There's no fuel on that multi edge services. Oh. Don't go there guys, there's no fuel. No fuel business. We've got a spa Um, Yeah, I think it would look very cool. Then cut off back ones. Yeah. But like, if you want to buy one, like already done, they're really expensive. Buy, buy a cheap one and then cut it off yourself. Well, that's what I thought. Well, then I don't think I've really got the skills to do it. Well, then I'd just have to learn, wouldn't I? Until seals become the good pants. Somebody, if somebody can do something, you can do it. That's, what, that's my motto in life. That's Joe's way forward. Um, there's some, some things that would be just a waste of time you trying to do it, like. But, but you shouldn't be able to do it because somebody else can do it. So, you're only human. Right, we're going to get on to the M1. Business. Look at this base. Abnormal loads. Well, it is a bit it? abnormal. Massive one, isn't it? Well, loads are higher. Woohoo! <laughs> Who wants Big it? The Tesla there, it's got all blocks underneath it, hasn't it? Yeah. Look at Amber, it's failed this much. We're now electric. Someone's gone wrong, hasn't it? Someone's gone wrong there. Someone's seriously gone wrong. Police cars in front as well. So what do people reckon's happened to that Tesla? Somebody tell me. Who brings them orange things with them anyway? Like. A bit cow, Do you reckon? Yeah, in like. New cars. Elf and Sid. On the little orange ramp thing? Yeah, but if it's got an electric handbrake and electric fails. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I never really thought about that. I don't know Did if you that's. Get a flat battery, really? 
I don't know if that's how it works, but they've got electric handbrakes, I'd imagine. Like, yeah. you press it on a button. I wonder what happens with that. Somebody will know. wonder if they're like air brakes, you know, in a lorry. Like, if, the, if you fail, you've got no air, your brakes are on. Yeah, I'm there. I don't know. Then again, though, if you were going down the road and you had an electric handbrake and your terminal came off your battery, does that mean that you just. Electric cars are a thing for the future. <laughs> we need a mechanic who's watching to tell us how an electric jam brake works. Yeah. Pick your own pumpkins. That's that farm round that corner with all the orange signs. Oh, we've gone past it? No, no, you, you didn't go past it. They have to like go round. You have to follow the orange signs up a different road. Uh, I'll have a look at Have it. you seen how they do that? Put, pick your own pumpkins. So like some some places they just buy boxes of pumpkins and put up grass and they just go pick them. Oh no no. That, in my eyes, like that's not picking your pumpkin. I went to a place and you have to like cut it off and stalk. Uh, like they're yeah. all just left in the field. If I did put, pick your own pumpkin, I'd just buy a pallet and just put it on grass. Easier isn't it? What? Cleaner, cleaner for people to walk around. Fetch your wellies. In fact it tells you to fetch your wellies. Does it? Well, it says come with suitable footwear to walk for a field. To walk for a muddy field. Yeah. Not be bad this year, like, it's been quite dry. Yeah, I suppose. Well, there's a nice pond down there. Is there? I might be slurping, to be honest. <laughs> oh, there's a pond, there's a pond. Oh, there's a pond, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually a bit slurping, then. You for all for M. <laughs> yeah, you go from a nice to M. Lovely. <laughs> Them have stopped now. We're gonna get some fish and chips. Uh, we had brought dinner with us, but um, I was just getting hungry, so I thought we'd get some fish and chips in. Only one supreme sausage. Yeah. Business, we've got it now. <laughs> I've managed to spill peas down me. Um, <laughs> all right, mess. Oh, it's all right, that. That's it. Yeah, all right. You had fish cake, didn't you? Mm. I have fish. I don't think it was cod or well. But it was hot because we made it there and then. So it's good. Thank we just, you. We've been looking. There's a nice little farm down here as well. With a view. Mm. M likes the house. And my chips. And the silage. Oh, and your chips and your fish cake. We're not far from where we need to be now. So we'll get this eaten <clears throat> then we'll get back on. On route. It to me last night that um, my lifestyle is unhealthy. Um, drinking beers, eating. I had a kebab overnight. Right. Now, now I'm just at fish and chips. Yeah, and then I'm going to go in to an all-you-can-eat restaurant tonight. Oh, I, could... I can't see a point at all. Can't see where she's coming from. It's fit and healthy. Exactly. Look at me, I'm racing snake. <laughs> <laughs> Putting slurry on a beer with an umbilical. Come on, boys. Nice here, isn't it, Em? Eh? Even a heron right down at the far end of the pond. Yeah. I mean, that's not nice for the fish, but it looks nice. Nature. Beautiful. And we've arrived, we're here. On the way, I've seen her favourite sheep. You'll have to Google it because we didn't get a chance to actually um, film it. But go on, Em, tell them what your favourite sheep is. Ryland. Ryland? Mm -hmm. It's got like hair on its head, hasn't it? It's like just full fluff. I don't know a note about sheep, but M knows no, about I, sheep. No, I don't really, but I just know that that's called a Ryland sheep, but it's all fluffy. <laughs> right, we're on it. Oh, me and M, we've got loaded up with cows now. We're going to head on back. Hey, oh, she's not liking this, M. We must be full. It was a combination of no speed, no power. <laughs> anyway. You what? We might need, need to build some because of these hills. So I, I, Em's just teaching me how to drive. Um, right, well, we're on our way back and yeah. I don't know if to end the video now, Em. We might do, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Bye bye. Em's ride, they'll. Uh... Yeah, they've got llamas. Oh, they have got llamas. They've got a few ride, they've got fluffy heads. Got llamas here. Are there, is that other llamas? Is that what they're called? Goats. Goats. 
We've come to like the M's paradise. Park. M's paradise. <laughs> uh, are you happy? Yeah, look at them. <laughs> yeah, we've finally got back into the yard, haven't we, Em? Yeah. Hey, just the feeding up to do, and then we are done. There they go. Into the new shed. Nicely bedded up. Load of hay. Come on, fella. Hey, this really is the end of the video because me and Em have got to scoot around. Feed all these cows, every one of them, and then I've got to go out for my daughter's birthday. Um, she's five today, bless her, little Esme, and we're going to an all-you-can-eat restaurant, which um, I think I said about earlier. Um, I'm not hungry, either. Um, I'm not going to take full advantage of it, and that's not like me. So um, if you've liked today's video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've got any more questions for Em that we can answer in our next Joe and Em Go Road Trip interview tour, um, then um, yeah, just leave them in the comments below. And me, if you've got any questions for me. Nobody really has any questions for me though. So um, yeah, anyway, thanks guys, bye. Bye Em.